When I was 16, I decided, like a lot of people in my school, I'd had enough of education. I was going to seek my fortunes <laughs> in London with the qualifications I had. And there weren't that many. I'd passed my English, my maths, design technology, and Thai, of all things. But I got lucky and I found a job flipping burgers in Macadese and a bedsit in central London. The pay wasn't that brilliant, but I was able to pay my bills and I was able to make a living. Four years later, I was running a jewellery business and a market stall and everything seemed pretty good. I'd had some retail experience, I'd uh, been in catering, I was a waiter and a chef. And then I met the girl of my dreams. And the problem was, she lived abroad. <laughs> I had to do something about this. But the qualifications I had, they just weren't good enough for me to go and work and live abroad. So I thought, well, what am I going to do? I realised I like reading and I like meeting people. So why don't I become an English teacher? It seemed to make sense. I looked around and there was a short intensive course that I could take. But there was a big problem. You see, I was a bad learner. Now when I say I'm a bad learner, I meant, you know, I couldn't take or make notes. I had no idea what that was about. I never did my homework. And I definitely couldn't revise for exams. I was lucky to get away with four qualifications. But I joined this course and I almost dropped out several times. And if it wasn't for a friend of mine who stopped me and said, Tobes, you need to stay the course. You know, if he hadn't said that to me, I think I would have dropped out. And basically what it was, he said, look, you can drop out and that's fine, but everybody else is going to look at you with disdain. You know, you're gonna lose your self-respect. And I thought, that's, that's, that makes sense. You know, if you've started something, you've got to stick to it, no matter what happens. Even if it means asking for help, asking for support from other people, you know, you've still got to stay, stay the course. And then, once I got my qualification, I moved to Belarus, and I got a job, and this time, I was going to teach at a university. And my first group was teaching a group of teachers. And I panicked. Uh, I really lost it. I didn't know what I was going to do. And my girlfriend at the time, yeah, the girl of my dreams, as I was saying, she said to me, Tobes, you are something new and exciting. They've never met anybody like you. You're something different. You've got something different to bring to the table. Don't worry about it. You know, whatever you talk about, they've never experienced it before. They're going to be interested. And that was the time I realised my second lesson, which was everybody has something new and exciting to bring to the table. You know, it's like a picnic. You don't, you're not going to bring all the food yourself. Everybody's going to be a bit different. So my determination and motivation got me through my first lesson, you know, to get, get through my first course. And, you know, the support of my girlfriend, who later on became my wife, you know, helped me get through my second lesson, which was, you know, we can share. You know, everybody's got something to bring to the table and you're going to be okay. And I realised that in order to do well in learning, you've got to surround yourself by people, with people who are going to help you and look out for your well-being. You know, like my classmate who helped me out the first time round, and like my wife. So those are the three things I learned from the beginning. But I also learned that I wasn't a bad learner. You know, my life experience has shown me that in actual fact, 
I'm an excellent learner, but it took me time. It took me time to develop my learning strategies. It took me time to learn how to learn. And I'm a better person for it. So what I would like to do is I would like to share my learning experiences with you. And I would like to tell you the things that I found out and hopefully maybe something will be relevant to your interests. Maybe you will learn something. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. toby.doncaster at gmail.com and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Until then, I'll see you soon. Take care now. Goodbye.